How is it you have gone to school, gotten a perfect GPA, a college degree, have an outstanding resume, yet you could never find your dream job? How is it you are brilliant at what you do, efficient, results-oriented, yet you never get the recognition you deserve or the promotion you've worked hard for? How is it you continue to shatter the gas ceiling of your career, hit all set targets, make shareholders happy, yet you are denied a seat at the table? The reason for this is that everything we have been told about how you find your dream career for more success is wrong. I came to realize this in 2018 when I started my dream job as a global sponsorship lead. It was a beautiful Monday morning and I had just received the type of news that would help eradicate the I hate Monday feat. My head of department had informed me the execution I had completed in the prior week totally blew the stakeholders away. But wait, it gets better. The chief marketing officer, who's a tall, slender guy, and his presence commands your attention, came up to my desk and in a calm voice said, Shumalin, can we have a chat? Well, my five foot two in self stood tall, shoulders high, and with my signature bright smile, I did my walk of fame into the meeting room. This had to be an interesting discussion, right? Given the news I had just received. As I entered the room, my back pressed against the cold concrete wall. In front of me was the chief marketing officer and the HR lead. There was a deafening silence. In a calm voice, he said, Shimmelin, I am sorry. We are making some changes within the organization and your role is no longer required. The dead stare on my face must have been a picture worth 1,000 words. He continued, this has nothing to do with your performance. You have done outstanding work. You are just a statistic. Confused and overwhelmed, I left. Over 10 years of an extraordinary marketing career, successfully building global brands, yet I was the one going home and he was only doing his job. I suddenly felt invisible. In that moment, I recognized two things. One, my walk of fame was actually in vain. But the second thing is that you can be the most brilliant, fastest, hardest working, and most efficient individual. This is not enough to get you recognized, promoted, or take you to your next level of success. Your next level of success requires you to own and leverage your authenticity, difference, and relevance for more success within your industry and beyond while building your career. This is how you ignite the careerpreneur in brand you. Here is why. If you remain invisible, you won't be recognizable. Not for the job that you want, the promotion you've earned, the seat on the board you've worked hard for, or the investor funding you need. Now trust me, your personal brand is brand you. Your personal brand is equal to your credibility. Credibility is equal to opportunity. Opportunity is equal to money. In that moment, I understood next level of success was not just about finding your dream career. It was about creating an impact-driven career for more success globally. But how do you grow your influence as a leader globally without compromising or losing your career? 
Technology has caused a shift in the way we amplify our influence on people as leaders. The average person gets 561% more engagement on social media than a social brand. Executives and leaders get more engagements, up to 321% more interactions than a corporation. And today, Fortune 500 executives have grown their presence on social media from 39% in 2015 to 54% and growing now. This means that a personal brand can become more influential and gain more consumer trust than a corporate brand. Now, this is not a new phenomenon. Some 20 years ago, personal branding pioneer Tom Peters predicted that in the future, professionals would start to market themselves in the same way that corporations did. That future is now. 82% of individuals trust a company whose executives and leaders have a strong presence on social media. Let's look at Ariana Huffington, the CEO of and founder of Thrive. The media has described her as authentic, intelligent, and humble. She continues to be an advocate for us to preserve ourselves as leaders, be less stressed, and burnt out. So leaders had to evolve. We leverage our expertise and our experience, tapped into our emotional value, positioned and branded ourselves as go-to leaders so that we could build authentic relationships with our consumers. That helps company reputation as well as contribute to making your bottom line favorable. I need you to understand, as leaders, you need to position yourself in the best way forward. Why? Consumers are very savvy. They want to interact with us in real time. When leaders leverage their personal brand and their influence, they build deep relationships with the consumers, tap in into their hearts and minds. And share of heart plus share of mind is equal to share of wallet. 92% of consumers have more trust in a company when the recommendation comes from an individual. Because of that, businesses are now aligning themselves with people who have strong personal brands. Why? because it allows them an opportunity to increase their reach to audiences that traditionally they would not have access to. Why? Because people want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. Now we all have personal brands, but the thing is we are all not leveraging it strategically and intentionally. Besides understanding what you want to do, do you actually know what you want to be known for? Now I get it. We are all in survival mode. There's no time to think about what you're passionate about, far less how you want to impact the world. But here is the thing. At 40 years old, I was laid off. I had just had a baby, a mortgage. No backup plan, no exit strategy. No exit strategy. And I spent eight months unemployed. So I had to ignite the careerpreneur in brand me by leveraging my competitive advantage, which lied at the center of my passion, the opportunities that exist, and my strength. But that was not, that was not enough to connect emotionally with my target audience and inspire them for action, I needed to ask myself, what feelings do I sell? Because people are in the business of feelings, connections, and emotions. 
83% of individuals believe that leaders who position themselves as thought leaders contributes towards making an organization more trust trustworthy. As a leader, you are already strategically positioned to be a thought leader based on your experience and your expertise. You just need to start putting yourself out there and start having meaningful conversations that makes a difference to the bottom line. Let's look at Elon Musk versus Bitcoin. Within, from January to June, three tweets from Elon Musk contributed towards the Bitcoin market spiraling down. You know why? Because the more people see you, know you, and learn from you, the more that they trust you. This means that corporate brands need us as employees, as managers, as executives, because we contribute to them building their trust and they help us build our credibility. We are in disruptive times and disruptive times requires disruptive, positive leadership. You have to become the most valuable marketing player for your business and your career. In July 2021, I became the founder and CEO of the Influential Boss Lady. I leveraged over 10 years of marketing and branding experience as a global lead. Within one week, I was able to build an online community of over 3,000 like-minded professionals and business women from around the world. I got invited to speak on global stages, in person, and virtually. I got to position myself as a go-to authority in personal branding. But the greatest honor has been my ability to inspire women from around the world who saw themselves in me, helping them build their personal brand and their presence online, not after they got laid off, they got fired, or there was a pandemic, at the pinnacle of their career, converting themselves into a profitable asset for company and self. I am an everyday person like you, from a tiny but mighty 238 square mile island. And despite me just being five foot two inches off the ground, I have been given opportunities globally. It's time for you to step out of your best kept secret zone. Your personal brand is your most important asset. It's going to outlive your job, your career, and your life. Your personal brand is your most important asset. So I am encouraging you. It's time to unleash your zone of brilliance. Create the career you wish you had so you too can ignite the carepreneur in brand you.